Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do an animal that everyone is very familiar with and it is a, a billy goat. I mean, I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. And uh, my mother actually when she was growing up had one of these and uh, she had uh, two brothers and a sister and when they were little kids they asked, they went to some kind of auction or something and they were auctioning off animals and they ended up buying a little billy goat and, and uh, but when they got too big then they had to move it off to a farm. But I will show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil based clay such as this which never hardens and you can use it over and over again and as I mentioned in the past I used to love using this and I'd make all kinds of animals and what's great about this clay too is multicolored so you can do di different colors and and then you get tired of something, you just move on to something else. Another type of clay that you can use is an air hardening clay such as this, which can be bought in any art store. And it'll harden like in a couple of hours or overnight. And uh, it's more permanent. And you can paint it. And this, this would be a very good clay for like if you did want to use an armature, like I showed a simple armature using two fix last week. And tonight I'm going to take it a step further and I'll show you how to use aluminum wire armature. The, my preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be fired in the oven at 275 degrees for 15 or 20 minutes. You can bake it. Once you bake it, you can sand it, drill it. You can make a tremendous amount of detail. The size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight are this size right here for the body. And then we're going to, the next size ball that we'll be using will be this one here for the head. And then we got two smaller balls of clay here, and that will be used for the, the, the horns. The, and then what we'll be doing tonight also is I want to show you we have something new tonight. This is what the, what the wire armature looks like, and it's very, very flexible. What I did is I pre-cut four pieces about this length here. I'll show them to you. And what's great about this aluminum wire is we're going to put this inside the legs as we did with the toothpick last week. And I want to show you how flexible this is. See, you can just move it back and forth. So you can bend it into the shape that you want for the leg. What's great is you can make scenes like what I did here with the cheetah chasing the gazelle that you see back here. This is all reinforced with this type of aluminum wire. And I, yet the actual, I want to show you again, you can see how he's just up on one, like one leg here. And then the other three legs are suspended in the air. And what enabled me to do that was this aluminum wire. But I'll, I'll show you when, how to make the body now. Now that we have the aluminum wire. We're going to take this and almost make it into like a potato shape right here. I'll show you, just kind of work the clay like this, just like that, just like that. I'm going to make that. And now we're going to take the other ball of clay, which we will use for the head, and I'm going to attach it right here. See that, how we work it, work it in? And you work it back and forth. You want to kind of pinch that together, go all the way around, kind of pinch that together, like that. See how the, the body is starting to form? You got the head here, and then this is the body. And I'll show you what we want to continue to do is I want to kind of make the face. So that round ball for the face, we're going to proceed to make this face here on the goat. See how you, you can see that jaw line there? And then I'll show you from the head on. See how we get the, it's very narrow here by the nose, but it gets wider as the, where the eyes and the horns are. And then you remember the billy goat has that like little uh, little beard underneath, and that's what we proceed to make the shape of, and I'll show you how to do that. 
So what we'll do is we'll take this and I'm going to squeeze this clay here to make that shape of the snout. I'm going to work it like this. And we're, we're working to make that s the nose or the snout area just like that. I want to just just like that. And then what I'd like to do is we're going to take the four pieces of wire now. I'm going to put this down and we're going to add these to the goat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wire and I'm going to take it and I'm going to push it in right about here for the, for the first leg. right there. We'll take and we'll push this in right here. You can see this would be the other leg. And then we'll put these in the back like this. And we can kind of see what kind of I'm bending that a little bit for the leg. See I bent that? And we're going to proceed to do that on the other side also. And these, this is the wire armature. And what we're going to do is we're going to build the clay around this so we can create. And see, I did push this through at the top. What I can do is I can take my sculpting tool and kind of push that back down into the clay like that so it, isn't, it isn't, won't be protruding through up at the top. So what I'll do is I'll show you, we're going to take some clay from here. I have a block of clay over here. And we're going to put this on the legs. So I'm going to take clay off using the additive technique. I'm going to take a piece of clay like this and just kind of lengthen it like that. Or we could even roll it on the table if you want, like this. See that? And then what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the leg, push it, push it on like this. See that how I pushed it? And we're going to wrap that around the aluminum armature. And I'll proceed to do that on the other side. So I'm going to take and roll this. just like that and that way it will enable us to and then I'll, I'll do a couple of others that way I can do them all at once so now what we're going to do is going to proceed to do the legs so see how I'm taking this and then I'm pressing it into the wire I want the wire to be in the center so then I'm taking and kind of wrapping the clay around the wire just like that. See, I'm just wrapping around. So you can't really see the wire anymore as I kind of pinch it to go around. And I'm going to, this is a little extra clay. I'm going to take and do the same thing here. See how the, I'm taking this? Pressing it into the armature. And then from this side here, I try to wrap it around the wire armature. Just like that. See how I'm taking that and try to wrap it around. Just like that. And then the last and final leg will do the same thing here. And I'm wrapping that around. You know, if there's a little excess clay, we can, we can take that off. I just want to get this so we can use it. See how I'm wrapping that around the leg here? 
And what I want to do is now that I have these on here like that, maybe tap them down on the table. Get them all about the same area. See this goat here? <clears throat> we want to build up the shoulder like this. You know, add some clay here. And then we want to come down and you almost have like the, the knee here down to the hoof. So we'll try to build that in. And then this back leg here, see how it's thicker in the back? And then it, you know, you almost have like the little elbow. And then it comes down like that and you have the hoof. We're going to try to create that on both sides of the, the um, goat. And I'll show you how to do that. I take a piece of clay like this. And I'm going to kind of add it. See, I'm adding that to the, the rear leg. You want to kind of want to build that out a little bit, just like that. Just want to do that. And then we want to add some clay here and the leg, build it up a little bit. See, I'm kind of doing that. And then we'll kind of work this. I'll try to make it so you can see it. See how we're kind of building the little elbow in the back? It's almost got like a little point. And then we want to make an area where the hoof is going to be. The hoof will be down here. And I'll show you how to add a little clay there. Just kind of squeeze it. and. I just want to give you the general idea. But see how that leg's starting to form here? See, it's starting adding the muscle structure and the, and the skeletal structure. You build this up a little bit, just a little bit at a time. And one of the ways to do this is you can always look at a goat or a picture of a goat, and you can see that muscle structure, and you can try to copy it. So I'm going to proceed to do the same thing on the other side here. We're going to build up the leg on the other side. See, I'm adding that here. Just like that. And then here, we, I, can, I have enough clay on this one. I think I can pinch out the hoof. So you kind of go around like that. Just kind of mold it with your fingers. And yeah, we'll add a little bit more. Just kind of work that in, just like that. And if one leg seems to be bigger than the other, what I can do is if I feel I have too much clay here, I can take the subtractive technique now, just kind of whittle away at this a little more. That way, I make both legs approximately the same size. That's what the great thing about the sculpting tool is. You can, you can take away from if you have too much. And we're going to add to the, the shoulder area here, like that, for the shoulder muscles. You kind of build it up like that. And then what we'll do is make the leg a little thicker up here. You can see that. Just like that. And so you just you just keep playing with it like this. So you do that. So we're building up that nice shoulder area. What you eventually want to do is on the unpainted version, 
See how I, I, I built up the legs on this? I'll show you. This is what it looks like from the underside. Then this is what it looks like from the side. See how we built up that leg in the back? Then you almost have that little elbow there, almost like a little point that goes down. And then you have the shoulder built up here. Then you almost have like a little knee here. So you add a little clay here. And then you got the hoofs. And that's what it looks like from the front. And that's what it looks like from the side. And that's what it'll look like from the back. And, you, you know, we're going to make a nice little tail in back there also. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take a piece of clay off of here. I'm just going to make it into a little ball about this size. And we'll take and we'll create the tail. So I'm going to take this and I'll show you the shape that we want. See how I'm kind of making it pointy on this side? Almost think of like an upside down easy ice cream cone in a way. See that? And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach it right about here. And just kind of work the clay in like that. And then the next thing that we want to do is I think we'll make the, the horns on top of the head of the goat. See the, the horns here? That's what we want to do next. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take these two balls of clay here and just kind of squeeze them. Think of the upside down ice cream cone. And we're going to just kind of make that. See, I'm just sculpting the point on that. So just kind of think of the tip of the ice cream cone. If it was right side up, that's where you have your ice cream scoops. But this is what the, you want the horn to look like, the shape. This right here. That's from the side. That's what it looks like from the top, other side, the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and put that on top of the head right here. So I kind of put that right there and work that in just like that. And we're going to proceed to make the, the other horn. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and put the other one right beside on the other side of the head like that. Just kind of work it in. Go all the way around, use your fingers to pinch it. We've got that. Another thing that we want to do is we want to create ears. And I'll show you the shape that we want. On our goat here, see these ears? We want to take that, and then we want to take our sculpting tool and kind of carve that out a little bit. And then there's one on the other side. And that's what we're going to proceed to make next. So I will take clay here. I think I got a, roughly the right size ball of clay. You see, I want to just play around with it a little bit and see if that's approximately the right size that I want. Let's see, I'll compare it to my other goat. Yeah, I, I think I'll make that just slightly smaller. So now I have this size ball of clay. I know how much to make the other ear. See this here? So now I'm going to take this ball of clay and then I'm going to try to make one very similar to it so I know the size. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to see if they're approximately the right size, which they are, and I'll proceed to make the ear. So what I want to do is take this, squeeze it from both sides, and I'll show you the shape that we want. See that, how I'm starting to make the shape of the ear? Just like that. Just kind of work it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to scoop out part of the ear like this. See how we made that nice little indentation? And I'm going to do the same thing on the other, the other one. So we'll quickly make the ear. 
just like this. And see how I'm making the nice shape? Just like that. And then we're going to take and we're going to scoop out the clay. Just like this. Take the little sculpting tool. Just kind of sculpt it out like that. And then we're going to proceed to put the ears on our goat. So this here, I'm going to put the ear, one ear on this side. Just kind of work it in. And then you can take your fingers and kind of pinch the clay in from this side to make sure it's attached, just like that. And if you want, you can take a toothpick and I think in this situation, I'll just take the toothpick and kind of push that in like that. I'll proceed to do the other side. I want to make sure and kind of work that in. See that? So that's what that looks like. So the next step in the process will be we want to make the eyes. So I'm going to show you how to make the eyes. We're going to take the toothpick here and we're going to stick it in approximately right here. And just and then we're going to kind of just work it back and forth like this. See how I'm doing that? We'll do that. And then we're going to then I'm going to take and look on the other side. I want to make sure I get in approximately the same spot. And see this? And we'll do the same thing over here. Just like that. So I'll show you. <clears throat> see how I'm kind of working it like that? Working the shape. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some clay and we're going to try to put that back in there. He doesn't seem to want to stand, but that's all right. What I'll do is I'll prop him up on this so we don't damage the ears. So I'm going to take a very little piece of clay like this and I'll, I'll put them in my hand. I'll show you what they're going to look like. So you just make some little balls of clay like this. Oh, see that? And we're going to put those back into the eyes. So I'm going to take this ball right here and stick it into the eye. And then I'm going to go to the other side and I'll do the same thing for the other one. So you just kind of put it back in. And then what I want to do is I want to kind of build an eyelid. So I'm going to take a little small piece of clay like this, and I'm going to make almost like a little eyelid like this. See how I made that eyelid? I'm going to take that, I'm going to place that right over the eye. just like that. And then we can take and make a little another eyelid for the other side. Roll that in your hands. And then we can take this, see how that shape is? And we're going to take and push that in there like that. And we'll proceed to do that to the other side also. And then See how we did both the eyes? You see how we kind of built the eyelids there? Then we did that. You can kind of flatten them out a little bit. The next thing that I want to do is I want to do the nose and the mouth. So I'm going to take the look at the center here and I'm going to put nostrils in here, right here. So we take the this here and just kind of work these back and forth. And then I'll do it in the other side.
that work at the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make the mouth. So we'll take this, the toothpick, and kind of push it in like that. You can see that? See how I'm taking the toothpick? And you push it in, and you create that mouth. Just like that, and you go all the way around. And then what I want to do also is I want to make him have like a little beard. So I'll take another piece of clay using the additive technique, about this size ball of clay here. And we're going to add that to the chin right under here. See how I added that to the chin? And then what we're going to do is try to create, make sure we have the right jaw line here. I take my finger like that. See how I'm kind of pushing that there? I want to make sure that there's a, there's a jaw line. And I'll do the same on the other side. Just like that. <clears throat> and the next thing that we can do is we gonna we can kind of make the horns I wanna kinda use like this tool here and just kinda go like this. Make little indentations. And then you can make other indentations. Go kinda go all the way around. Just like that. And you want to do the same on the other side. So just you're going to go up like that, make the indentations, do it on the other side. But you'll do it all around the horns. And then you'll even do it in the back. So the back here, you want to kind of do the same thing. Take and go like that. And so I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing kind of make little indentations like that. And then you can also take your toothpick if you want and you can do them this way too. It might be quicker to, so you can do it two different ways. This might be quicker doing it with the toothpick. But then we want to make the face with the fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scruff up underneath the, in his, uh, his little beard. See that? I'm taking and just scruffing that up with the, the toothpick. We'll go all the way around and do that. Then another thing that we want to do is we'll, we'll, we'll start to do some fur on the face. See how I'm taking little strokes there? And we'll, and we'll work that in. We'll go all around the face. little strokes and you want to do that and then we want to do that on the other side here also like that you're going to go all the way around so you got a pretty good looking little goat here right now see the head just want to kind of show from both sides if you want you can just flatten this a little more and You'll make fur all the way around the goat. You know, you'll, you'll do the legs where we had kind of built them up like that. Do little strokes all the way around the goat like that. And you want to do the tail that way. But uh, I'll show you the legs. What you want to do with the legs here is just keep playing with them, taking clay or adding clay. And they will, it will eventually look like the one I have over here, and I'll show you that again. So we got that. The goat that I had done last night, just work, work the legs until you, you want to kind of have like the leg going out a little bit here, build up the shoulder muscle. This here, you can see how that it, it kind of protrudes a little bit. And then you build the hoof, and you do the same for that. 
you kind of build this out here. You want to build that little elbow in the back and do that. And then you want to do all the fur. So take the toothpick like I was showing you and make all the lines all around the goat to make the, uh, the fur. So I will proceed to show you now how to paint that. And I'll show you the types of paints that you can use. These are acrylic art paints, which can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 in this package. And we're going to use several different colors to paint our goat. What I did last night is the colors that I want to use are gray. And this is going to be for the horns and the hoofs. And then I want to use this cream color here for the the goats um, to paint the goat and then I want to use black for the eyes and then I also want to use this tan color here for the nose on the goat so we have about four different colors that we're going to use we're going to be using different types of brushes tonight for the body on the goat we want to use this size brush here because it's nice and wide. Then when we do the smaller work, like the, the hoofs and things, and the, the horns, I think we'll use this, this brush here. It's a little thinner. It'll be easier to work with. And then for the eyes, I'll try to find a brush that's small. This one here has a, a somewhat small point, so I can use that on the eyes. And I'll show you, we wanna, we're going to paint the hoofs right down here. So you're going to go back and forth like this, back and forth, back and forth. See this? Back and forth, back and forth. So you're going to want to go all the way around. I'm going to do that for all four hoofs, back and forth, back and forth. See how I'm doing that? Just And then we'll also paint the horns in the same manner. So we're going to do the horns up here now. You know, and just kind of paint all the way around. Let's see. Just kind of paint all the way around. And then we try to get it from the other side. What we'll do is see I'm going behind the horns now. We're gonna we're gonna paint that. Just go back and forth, back and forth. Very simple. Just take and go back and forth, back and forth paint that. You know, you just work it in the best you can. And the next thing that I think we'll paint is the eyes. I'm taking the black now. And then I'm going to paint the eyes right here. And don't worry if you get too much paint on the eyes. You can always go back and paint over it. Dab it ever so slightly. Just like that. See how that looks? Then I did the other side. And now we'll proceed to paint the nose on the animal. And I'll show you what we'll do there. I'm going to take this color here. And we're just going to paint the nose area here. So we're just dabbing it ever so slightly. And then and then the next color that we want is going to be the cream color. 
So we'll take this brush here. I'll start with the underside. We want to paint under here. And just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And then what I want to do also too is paint the inside of the legs. I want to get the harder areas first. So you just kind of back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And you can start to paint the uh, all around the leg like that. Just go back and forth, back and forth. You're going to paint the entire goat in that manner, but I do want to try to see if I can get a little closer to the detail with this one. The um, See how we, when you go around the eyes and things, you just want to do it ever so slightly. Because you don't want to undo what you, the work you just did. Just kind of paint it like that. And what you're going to end up doing is painting the entire billy goat in this manner. And I'll show you what it should look like when it's finished painting. You see how the, we painted the snout? That, that almost like uh, tan color. You have the nice black eyes. If you want to you can either keep the ears in here pink, the color of the clay, or you can add that tan color that was used on the nose. We painted the hoofs. See that? And then you paint the entire goat with this cream color. And as you can see it. And you know, it ends up being pretty nice. Like this one here, if I wanted to, I could add another coat to it to make it look a little better. But uh, I was happy the way he turned out. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay tonight. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. And uh, goodbye for now.